Hey what's up guys and welcome to episode number 11 of Treasures of Iron. So this episode is going to be just a lot of clue scrolls, all kinds, just trying to complete all clues that I can get my hands on. So let's get started. So the first clue of the episode, which I will be opening in the background, was finished by accident and I did complete fishing contest to actually complete it. And I did not expect to finish it after 4 steps, but you can see I managed to get a Saradomis page 4, which I did not have, so that's quite a good start to the episode. Right, this was actually step 3 of a hard clue that I did do, and I also actually have a medium casket in the bank, and then I am on the last step of an easy clue, I think. So anyways, this was step 3 and I did not expect to get the reward, I wanted to have a casket to open yet again, but but anyways, this is what I got, 79k reward on the clue number, what was it, 12. Alright, we have done 12 clues, and I can reroll it, which I obviously want to do, because this reward is nothing to keep. I mean, the, the teleports are quite decent, but I don't want to see that anymore. Confirm that, and we get uh, a better reward, I guess. Lumberyard's teleports I was actually out of, so that's not too bad. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and complete the easy and the medium one. Alright, so here we have it, the easy and the medium caskets, and there was no requirements for any of these, they were really quick, and I just got them from doing some random stuff, don't even remember, just had them in the bank, so anyways, let's start with opening the easy one, because that one can't really give anything specific, unless it's a cosmetic, so let's see what we get from this one, and as expected, we got nothing, really, I mean, these teleports are quite decent, I don't think I have any of those, so for an easy, I'm gonna call that pretty okay, okay? So, well, I'm gonna drop this stuff of water, really no use for that. But anyways, let's see what the medium gives, and I'm not sure if I can reroll this, but I hope I can, but let's see what we get. And we get, alright, I could not reroll any of them, that's pretty sad, and the reward were actually very bad as well. Not gonna have any use for these items. Alright, so I actually hit quite a roadblock right here with the hard clue that I'm working on. It's actually the last step, most likely it's step number 5 or 6. Don't re remember completely, but yeah, probably one of the last steps. And I do have to actually start Legends Quest to be able to complete this hard clue. Now, initially I was thinking about dropping it because I wanted to do a lot of clues in this episode. However, I also want to progress my account, obviously, as it's an Iron Man. Every single skill is very useful. And obviously all the quests is going to be very useful for Priftiness and all that kind of stuff in the future. And the Legends Quest, I'm not going to try complete it, but I want to start it so I can actually, you know, do this clue scroll. Um, and as you can see on the screen right now, there's quite a lot of requirements. There's quite a lot of quests. I need to get 42 more quest points, which is obviously quite huge. Then also I need to get a bunch of skills, but you know what? I'm actually going to do it, screw it, and I'm just going to try to dedicate this video to actually completing this. But for you guys, it's probably going to be like one minute of content of, you know, me showing you guys what I complete. But after that, I'm going to complete this hard clue scroll hopefully there's no other hard requirements and by the way in the future I'm obviously going to have to complete this anyways because this is a clue scroll Iron Man and I'm obviously gonna get this clue um, step again sometime so it's better to just do it now than to you know drop it and then just prolong it to another time but anyways let's start a grind right now family quest is donezo I would like to thank every one of you who motivates me to make videos for YouTube because honestly without it I would not complete this hell of a quest Jesus Christ, this quest. Underground Pass is finally completed after like 10 years of uh, pain. Honestly, if it wasn't for I'm sick of it, I would never complete these quests. If you don't know who that is, you're missing out, dude. You're really missing out. His link to his channel will be in the description. He makes literally the best quest guides ever, but Waterfall Quest is done. Bada bing! So, I came to the conclusion that I will not be able to complete the Legends quest, or, well, start it at least, until a very long time. I mean, maybe two or three days or something like that, because getting those 35 uh, quest points that I still need to get for uh, to be able to start it uh, is going to take quite some time, because most quests that I do have left is like two or three quest points. And I hate quests, so doing underground pass and all that kind of stuff took me like a whole day. And then I've done some smithing, some mining, and uh, maybe some agility, I don't really remember. But yeah, something like that. Did some woodcutting, did hit 50, got some maple logs, not too bad. I can use them for fire making in the future. But anyways, what I decided to do was to actually just do some medium clues instead and try to finish those up. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't be doing that hard clue scroll that does require Legends Quest. I will still do that. I have it in the bank, but uh, I, I kind of want to release an episode 
episode like quite soon so what I'm gonna do is just do a couple of medium ones and then release the episode with that and in the next one I am most likely going to complete that hard clue and I bet you guys just because I didn't drop it it's going to be like third age kai shield okay I call that for the hard clue but anyways I'm going to talk to this guy right here and we should get okay we got another clue damn it dude all right this is going to give us a casket so let's just dig that up one two three give me the casket I think nope wrong place listen to the place there we go, alright. One, two, three, given the casket, and there we go. What? This is like five steps for a medium clue. I don't think that's ever happened in human history. Alright, let's just go to this place then. I don't know where this is, and I've probably done it over ten times. If this is not the casket, I will end this series right now forever. Let's see what this is. Good thing you get to keep the series. Alright, let's see what we get from this one. I don't think we can reroll at all, but anyways, let's see what we get. Ooh, prismatic medium fallen star. I think that's pretty rare to be honest. I call that a pretty good medium one and the next one we can actually reroll so I'm actually gonna use this. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this on smithing because I need it for legends quest and it's an absolute pain to get. You need to go and fucking mine iron ore and <clears throat> don't want to do that. I just had to turn off the overrides with this. This is actually the definition of swag. And yeah, I did actually accidentally get the round one instead of the pointy one and ran all the way here and tried and realized I had the wrong one. So anyways, here we do have the correct one. Supposed to do a twirl. No, not the... Oh, actually, it was a jig. Lol. All right. <laughs> and then we're supposed to do, I think, this one and talk to him and get the casket. Gimme. Gimme. What? How many steps am I having? Okay, the, I know this guy. This is this is the cook in, in Lumbridge. Easy, easy one. Easy. Are you guys ready for the most MLG trick ever, okay? Are you ready for this? If you're a dumbass like me and accidentally clicks up like a blue marker on the map, I'm going to show you guys if I click the map. Uh, I think I have it right over here. If you accidentally click up one of these and you don't want to go into your map and like press it away like by right clicking it, you can do this MLG trick, alright? Are you ready? Get the camera. You can actually right click here and clear your marker and it actually clears it. Yep, that's a thing, and I've never known it until now. But anyways, this guy wants to know that there's nine cannons in the castle, and that is not correct. Are you serious? I've done this like six times now, and I still can't do it right. What is it then? Is it like seven? Oh, it was seven, all right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna get the reward right now. We should get it at least, and then I can reroll that as well, so we get... What? Okay guys, I'm going to go through this. I've actually skipped like two steps that I didn't show you guys because it was so easy. This is step number seven or six. I think it's even seven for a medium clue. Is that even a thing? Is that even possible? Castle Wars Lobby and a Ruby Amulet I do have. Mithril Scimitar. I, I, okay, I have all of these, so that's just an easy one. But if this is not the last step, I don't know what kind of Illuminati is going on right here. So before I actually do the emotes, I want to show you guys the most baller thing ever. Look at all this um, jewelry that I have in my bank. Look at all these uncuts that I have. It's pretty sweet, to be honest, that I have an uncut dragonstone as well, uh, along with some diamonds and stuff. But look at all these necklaces, like game necklaces, you know, sapphire necklaces. All of these are mostly to, like, be able to finish the easy, the medium ones, and the hard ones. Like, as soon as I need a gold, uh, gold amulet or whatever, I just have it in the bank, so I don't enchant those. So I have quite a lot of jewelry to be honest and look at all the natrons as well for uh, ox and stuff but anyways I'm going to do the emotes right here. I'm supposed to do the I think the yawn one into what was it? Uh, the yawn one into shrug so let's see where the yawn one is. Come on man don't fucking there we go. Yawn and then shrug and where do we have shrug? Uh, I'm the worst at this sorry guys there we go. Alright, and I still have the blue helm on, so this is probably going to give me luck. Alright, there we go, that's the casket. No Illuminati stuff going on, but it was quite a lot of steps anyways, which is really weird. Oh, I need to equip this amulet, it gives me luck. So anyways, let's open this casket and see what we get. Nope. Amulet of Fury you did not help me at all. But anyways, um, green DI chaps, nope. That's pretty much the highlight of it as well. I mean, the, the green dra dragon hide is pretty decent for crafting, I guess, but it's like five of them, so I don't really give a shit. So let's just re-roll it and get um, a third pair of ranger boots. I mean, it would be pretty decent. Uh, all right, I think this was, this was actually worse. Magic combo, just, you know, sitting there trolling me. But some good fix arrows. Ye yes, that's, that's it. All right, Ori, give me that casket. Give me that casket. Thank you for that casket. And I did not read what he said. But I think he said that this is actually... Uh, I don't know, what do I need? Like, maybe pages? Book pages? I'm feeling Sammy page 2, to be honest. I can just see it on the casket, pretty much. But anyways, and... <laughs>
<laughs> on to the next one. This is just no point of talking about. Just because this is the ending of the video, I just feel like we're going to get a good reward, alright? So let's see what Kan Guy Mao can give us for our medium clue skull reward. One, two, three, here we go. And we get, what? Another clue skull? What the hell is going on? I've had like six steps now for this one as well. Sheer the Ogre Pen, alright, I can do that. Easy mode. So once when I was actually very sick, when I was about 12 years old, my dad told me that before I was going to the doctor, she, he said that either it solves itself or you die. That is a true story and it was great words of motivation. So anyways, I think those words should give us a third pair of ranger boots, not gonna lie. So we're gonna do sheer and then do the angry mode. So there we go. And I think sheer is this one and there you have Uri and then we're gonna do the angry mode. Come on, use it. Okay, there we go. Alright, so talk to Uri now, get our casket. There we have the casket. Uh, let's see what he said. I believe that is a very... It is very rainy in Varrock. Alright, I mean, that is pretty logical to give us ranger boots, I think. So we get... What is this kind of reward? Pure essence. Is this an age? Yeah, it is an age. Alright, not gonna lie. That is pretty decent because I had age... You know, I have the age like 4 and 5 skirt, but I don't have any of the, the, the helm pieces. So this is not too bad. How does this look? I need to remove the overrides actually for a second. There we have it. And we're gonna see how this looks. There's no difference. The only difference is like a small thing right here. That is kind of a disappointment. But um, anyways, that is it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it was um, a lot of just progress towards questing and stuff. But I did complete quite a, a lot of mediums in the end, so I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. Sadly, no cool rewards except the age 3 adamant helmet in the end here, but... Next episode, I will most likely be completing that hard crew scroll, which will require me to start Legends Quest, which is quite a lot to work on. But I will try to push it in and complete that. Also, I noticed like two days ago that I was actually not that far of 1000 subscribers. And I actually checked just before I recorded this as well how many I had. And I have 947 subscribers. For a RuneScape channel, I call that pretty damn decent. Because this is just... You know, I, I started off with like 200 subscribers making uh, RuneScape videos. I previously made World of Warcraft videos. And um, it feels like you guys do enjoy my content. And I feel like I'm producing quality made content. So I will just continue doing it because I really love doing it. And if you do want to um, support me on my road to 1000 subscribers. Then please do press that subscribe button. As well as you need to be liking my content. Dude, if you don't like my content, don't press subscribe. There's no point of doing that because I don't want like 100,000 billion subscribers if none of them even cares about my videos. So you need to be um, interested in my videos and if you are, then please press subscribe. And also, I also noticed that we did hit 45 likes on my previous episode. Which is crazy to me, so maybe we can try to aim for 50 this one. If we can reach 50, I'm going to literally hug all of you guys. Now I can't do that, but virtually I'm going to hug all of you guys. But anyways, enough of a lot of rambling here. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.